<laughs> it's like back to going to reality. So, all right, James, what was your name? Well, time. well I don't only introduce myself yes. each time. Um, James, I want you to think about something that you know you can't be wrong about. Is that cool? William, I want you to no, think about something that you know you can't be wrong about. Okay. It's all right if it's different things. We're going to all work on this together. And okay. I can throw something that I think I'm not wrong about, too. Mm-hmm. And we'll go around. I was going to say, cool. to, to the certainty thing that I can't be wrong about, I would I use. want like 100 Like something you know you can't but, be wrong about is what I would call like 100% certainty. Like you know for a fact that you can't be wrong about it. Like that, what's more certain than that? Like you don't even want to ask any more questions about it. Like it's just so obvious, so true. It's, it's it is it is or whatever you want to say like we want to throw on top of that. Is there anything yeah. like that for you? Um, the thing that you're at least most confident about, even if there's nothing like that. Let's see. Um, I would say the uh, pretty much the foundational thing I would kind of get to is something like the laws of logic are reliable. The laws of logic are 100 percent reliable. Yes, I would go. I would I would venture to make that claim. Okay. James, what do you got? Um, I, I mean, yeah, if, if, I, if I was forced to pick something that had that high of a degree of certainty, um, one of the things we did in my, when we swapped for that very last role play, um, and I was doing essay on the other guy, he said, uh, I believe in the science, like science, like science or the scientific method. To 100% certainty? Like, like that the scientific method is the most reliable way to like discover mm-hmm. truths about reality. Is that your position? I, think I don't I would, know what you believe. I think I would agree with that, yeah. To 100% certainty, the scientific method is the most reliable method. Sure. Known or period? Known. No. Because, again, I, I try not to believe anything to 100%. Like, there, you should always be open to changing your mind. Should you always be? Yes. 100% certain on that? Huh? Are you 100% certain? <laughs> ah, like you're really 100% well certain played. We're getting too fast into this. Yeah. Oh, I was I was thinking something about think doing, about. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about doing something like a liar. It's a description of uh, repeated observations. I would say the laws of logic work similarly. Okay. Um, you know we've really don't have we don't have a single counterexample um, that that you know something that is is itself all that stuff. Do you know what he's talking about? I I'm I'm I've heard. I can break it down. I, I was gonna say go I've I've heard the identity, non contradiction and yeah. exclude middle, yeah. but I have not looked into that to know what each of those particular. So it is what it is. It isn't what it is. So, and so if I had a car, yeah. I have a car yeah. in the parking lot right now. Mm-hmm. Every car in that parking lot is either my car or not my car. Mm-hmm. Would that make sense? Okay, is that identity? Is that, well, I mean, does that at least make sense? Would yes. You, would you agree with me you on that? Either own it or you do not. Yeah, either car yeah. is either a my or car or not a. my car. Every car in Nashville is either my car or not my car. Yes. Every thing on earth is either my car or not my car. Mm-hmm. Every, you're with me so far? Yes. Mm-hmm. Everything in the universe is either my car or not my car. I can have two sets of it's my yes. car yep. or it's not my car. Mm-hmm. As long as I well define what my car is, mm-hmm. I can say is X or is not X. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. that explains all three modes mm-hmm. of that because there's no middle ground. Mm-hmm. My car is my car, and what's not my car is not my car. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. The thing is, how do we prove it not to be true, the case? How do, do we how, how, how do you how falsify, would we that? falsify because it? Because we have to assume that it's true to even try to falsify it. Uh, I mean, but I think that in and of itself would be the evidence, right? Is it? So if we... Can we falsify it? Can we falsify it? I mean, we would have to... Is not falsifying something proof that it's true? Is it a postulate? Wait, wait, wait. Is not falsifying something. Yeah, is the fact that we can't falsify it proof that it's true? No. Okay. So it seems like it's not so much that it's not so much that I don't have a lot of confidence that it's true. Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm always open door. Like, Mm -hmm. show me a good way to falsify it, and I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm like, that's why that's for me Mm -hmm. one of the things that I'm most confident about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, as nines down to the. Down to Pluto mm-hmm. and beyond, but I would never be 100 percent until I know how to falsify something. Mm-hmm. Even if I couldn't falsify it, I'd mm-hmm. just be like, "It's unknown." Mm-hmm. But I'm there's nothing else I'm probably more confident than that. What do so, you think about that? Let's see. So I think I'm trying to remember. So everything you just said. So mm. uh, you would believe in these uh, 
laws more if you, you if, if you are able to falsify them. Yeah, I love things that I know where my not hits are yeah. as well as my hits. Yes. And if I don't know where my non hits are, yes. how can I be a hundred percent confident that I got a so, hit? So I mean this is a this is a similar thing to um, how would I falsify like uh, Newton's second law. So in the right? sense of in the event let's pretend I did yeah, it. Sure. I don't know is a perfectly fine answer. Yeah. And I'm measuring my confidence on based on what I can demonstrate. Yeah. And I think that's a reasonable position. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, for instance, if, if I were to try to do an experiment that would demonstrate Newton's second law and I were to get something maybe like mass equals, or force equals mass times velocity mm -hmm. instead of mass times acceleration. So, so and, and, and that obtains, well, hey, well, now I have a, an observation yeah. that contradicts now, but the problem is, will that ever happen? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Well, here's Now, I could do a similar thing with law of logic, correct? And, I'm, uh, and all I'm saying is, 99.999999 yeah. represents an open-mindedness that I could be wrong about, yeah. it, which is always more reliable or more rational position than mm -hmm. I'm so confident that I don't even ask questions about it. Oh, yes. And yes. when I say, like, yes. hey, third, second law of thermodynamics, yeah. here now, sure, but when the universe is being formed, who yes. knows what the rules were okay. then? Yeah. Near heat death? Yeah. Who knows what the rules will be then? Yeah. These might be an F we might seeing we might be seeing a spectrum of change with these uh, yeah. equations that change slightly over time, yeah. imperceptible to our short lifetimes. Yeah. I'm open to being wrong. Yes. That's all that means, and I think that's oh, the I, more I, rational position. Yes, I definitely I would definitely agree. If there were to be some sort of demonstration or otherwise uh, evidence that the laws of logic were not reliable, yes, then of course I would change. Mind. And the way how I see it is someone who's so confident that they aren't going to change their mind, even if they were presented that kind mm -hmm. of evidence, would be more confident than you. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't be at 100%. I could not be at 100% on this one. Then, then I, I guess so. This was, uh, I would say, the closest to 100% that I could have given you. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Fist bump it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm. Not bad. I mean, yeah. honestly, um, I mean, I, I guess I came in, there wasn't a, this is, is close to 100%. There's some I other things I feel I'm like. I'm not sure. Let's like, see. I mean, I don't think Infinity War is a good movie, period. I probably, I would, I would 100%. <laughs> I'm not taking the bait. It ain't good. It ain't good. And we could talk about, oh, it's, it's such good. a bad movie. It's not good. It's half a movie. And I want to do yours thing first. Man. In fact, I haven't even said oh, mine. Man. I haven't even said mine. I can say Infinity War sucks. Okay. I <laughs> then I want. Uh, you you you. You want a good movie? Watch Spider Verse. Sorry. Oh, I watched it Thursday. Oh, wasn't watched it good? It fantastic. Perfect. God damn! Have you no, seen Spider Verse? I, I have. No, oh, I don't watch watched Spider Verse. Oh, okay. I have to, So after that, I was watching it with a friend, and after that movie, I just turned around and just. Well, that was a perfect movie. It was a perfect. Movie. <laughs> I was in the movie theater, and I was like, I had so much hype going into this, and then I left. And I was like, it was even better than the comic book that it was based I, off of. That almost could have been a better claim. A Spider Spider Verse was a perfect movie, hundred <laughs> percent. If you want to do another round, we can try that. Out. Yeah. Okay. What you got? I might, right, you I, that, have, might be, that might be a good one for me to go on you. Okay, scientific <laughs> method is the most reliable one that we know about. Yes. I, 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 I,